After logging in to Text Pattern, this is the first page you'll see, the right page. And it lets you add a new article to your site. So I'm going to go through an example here. I'm working on this series of posts about Google AdWords. So I'm going to start a new post for that series, AdWords Day 5, creating an ad words ad and I actually have already written my text here so I'm just going to copy and paste from here um, this will go into the body you can also write yourself an excerpt which I have right here and that will go in the excerpt field on the left hand side here um, you have some advanced options which you can toggle on and off um, on the keywords field that'll be if your site uses tags um, this is where the tags go and you can type new ones in or you can go through the list here and simply add them by clicking on them AdWords uh, Advertising that seems pretty good um, on the right hand side here you can say you want to start an article but you're not ready to publish it just yet in that case you can click draft and publish and now your article is saved um, but it's not live on your site um, and you can choose up to two categories you'll choose the section um, that you want to publish to um, my blog is in the article section so I'm just going to leave it at that usually you won't have to touch this because the default option will be correct if your site uses comments you can turn them on and off here and if they're on you can change the um, comment invitation um, try to get people to comment and if you want to publish at a future time rather than right now you would set your um, <clears throat> status to live but at the same time change the publish date to a future date for example if I go live and change this to 2011 then my article will publish live to my site exactly one year from now. That's not really what I want, so I'm going to go back to draft and click reset time to now. And if we go to the articles tab, we can see that um, my article is saved here in draft form. And just to show you, we'll see that it is not in fact live on the site. But I can go back and edit and add to it as necessary, and when I'm ready, I just click Live and Publish.